he is, breaking the great Mike Gibson's 16-year-old record today, a 70th cap. People at the time, at the end of the 70s, said that Gibson's record would never be broken. But it's been broken this afternoon. Taken in by O'Connell, but the drive from Scotland, the defence of that line-out was exemplary. Didn't challenge on that occasion, but made sure that Ireland was shunted back. Ireland, though, have dropped anchor, and now they're responding with their own shove. And the try line is six metres away. Still going. It's a green Irish juggernaut. They're over the line. Look free. And he says try. And having initially seemed to be losing that arm wrestle, Ireland pulled it back and have got the score. And would you believe it? It is the man who has created history. It's Malcolm O'Kelly. Well, Scotland seemed to defend that, that Rhino very, very well. They didn't go into the air. They pushed Ireland back initially, but Ireland had patience. They regrouped Joel Jutz standing, I have to say, in the wrong position. It was clearly visible from the back, and Peter Stringer lifts the legs just to show how clean a try he thought that was. It wasn't Shane Byrne. It was echoes of the Triple Crown game, wasn't it, with Shane Byrne. Byrne picked up his two tries. Clear try. Well worked by Ireland. That puts him right back in this game. And this for the lead. It's a good kick, curling the ball in, Ronan O'Gara adds the cream of the two points and that enormous travelling contingent celebrating the try from Malcolm O'Kelly and Ireland almost incredibly are in the lead and this is why and at the middle of all this is the man who has now played more times for his country than anyone else and well, what a fitting way to celebrate.